do you want your cinematics to look like this? But in reality, they look like this. In this tutorial, I will explain you how to make your cinematics way smoother with a few simple steps. You will need the Cinematic Camera Extended mod, the mod used to create cinematics, any recording program and any editing software. It doesn't really matter what software you use as long as it can change the playing speed of a video file. Furthermore, you will need to get either the Speed Slider mod or the Play It mod. Only get one of them, as the function of Speed Slider is implemented in Play It, so they might conflict with each other. For this tutorial I will be using Play It because that is what I personally use, but I will explain how it works with Speed Slider too. I will leave a link to all those mods in the description. Once you have subscribed and enabled those mods, load into your save and let's get started. We start with opening the cinematic camera mod by pressing C on your keyboard or clicking the button with the clapperboard in the right bottom of your screen. A quick explanation of the menu that pops up now. By clicking the plus button you'll add a point where the camera will move to. We will need at least two of that to get a moving cinematic. Next to that we have a slider which is not really important for this tutorial, but it lets you take a look at the camera movement once you've set up a cinematic without having to play it. To the right of that you see a button that lets you change the playback speed. Furthermore we have the button to the right of the playback button that starts the cinematic, an FOV slider under the top line of buttons, a button to cap the FPS while running a cinematic, as well as two clickable settings that speak for themselves. Ok, let's go on with the real work. To start off you will need to add a start and end point for your cinematic. Find a good camera angle where you want your cinematic to start and click the plus button on your keyboard or on the cinematic camera menu. Now add a second point so we have a moving camera and optionally you can add more points. Now you did that, you can change the first number behind the points to the amount of time you want the cinematic shot to take. The second number lets you set how long the camera will stop on this point and the third number is the FOV. Once you have set those to your liking, we go on with the next part. If you decided to use play it, Open the play it menu by pressing the button that has a play and pause icon on it at the left side of your screen, this one over here. Under the time tab you will see a slider with game speed. This slider slows the game down or speeds the game up, depending if you turn it up or down. If this is slowed down, the game won't lag as much because there will be less load on your computer. So because we want really smooth cinematics, let's slow it down as much as we can, so let's set the slider to 0.1 times the game speed. Depending on how big your city is and how good of a computer you have, you can slow it down by less, but as I have a pretty bad machine, I usually slow it down by 0.1 times. It is important to remember how much you have slowed it down by, because we will need that later on. If you decided to use speed slider, it works in a similar way. To the right of the milestones button in the left bottom of your screen, you will see a slider with a percentage next to it. Use it to slow down the game and remember the percentage you set it to. Once you have done that, open your recording software, hit record and play the cinematic. If your PC is really bad, like mine, it could help to cap the FPS in the recording software. You won't notice anything of that because we are going to speed up the video in the editing. In OBS for example, the recording software I use, I have my FPS cap to 10 while recording cinematics. After the cinematic is done playing, remember this will take longer than the time you set the original cinematic to take as we slow down the game, stop recording and open your editing software. Add the video you just recorded in there and speed up the video by the amount of times you slowed the game down with play it or speed slider. For example, if you set play it to 0.1 times the game speed, or in the case of speed slider to 10%, speed up the video by 10 times. Then export the video and there you have your hopefully smooth cinematic. I hope this guide could help you to get rid of the laggy cinematics. Thank you for watching and I would highly appreciate it if you leave a sub as we are really closing in to 2000 subscribers. Anyways that's it and I'll see you in the next one.